Hey guys, welcome back to Texar. My name is Lazar, and today we have something special on the bench the best 75% mechanical gaming keyboard I have ever used. This one is called the Field 75 and it comes courtesy of Nufi. Before we go any further, however, you should know that Nufi did send this out for review. However, there's no contract, no money is exchanging hands, they are not paying for this review or my opinion, they're not giving me a script or anything of the sort. There are no editorial privileges involved, they are seeing this vid exactly when you are. All of the opinions are 100% my own. Now it comes in this very interesting box and I know you're going to be loving the artwork just like I did. It says Captain on the bridge and on the front you get to see a glimpse of the keyboard and a couple of the features. But I bet you're curious to see what's inside the box.
overall the keyboard may look subjectively awesome and it's got some really cool color variants as well looks would only get you so far when it comes to mechanical gaming keyboards they need to perform and they need to be quick so let's talk about response time or polling rate polling rate is set at 1000 which is good this is the industry standard when it comes to fast mechanical gaming keyboards that 1000 hertz polling rate will be available to you via wired connection and via the 2.4 gigahertz dongle speaking of the dongle while the keyboard may not have a special place for you to store the dongle you can always store it in the usb hub this usb hub will only be made available to you when you connect the keyboard via its wired mode through the usb type c Port. and you can use something like your mouse receiver i even connected a 16 gig memory stick and everything worked fine the point is you're not going to be using this to charge something heavy duty you're just going to be using it for more lightweight applications as for bluetooth you're looking at 5.0 and 125 hertz falling rate this is ideal for office work not exactly something for gaming when you need the keyboard to respond a bit faster speaking about faster this one comes with some very special switches in the box you saw me open up the four different types that you can select i would recommend for gaming applications you go for the faster switches the one that have the pre-travel at 1.2 millimeter so for the best gaming performance you're looking at either the Nufi polaris or the cherry speed silvers there are some difference between the two but in terms of actual performance you're looking at essentially the exact same you're not really gonna notice a difference in response time between the two switches where you will notice a difference is in the actual rgb the Polaris top and bottom housing is made from polycarbonate, which again helps out with the whole RGB because it's see-through. Also, you got a dustproof stem, which offers more stabilities to the keys. And another advantage is the fact that they are factory loop. And this would be my number one recommendation for gaming switches on this keyboard. As for the Cherry RGB Silvers, they do have their own advantages because the bottom housing is made from a more softer plastic. So again, the sound profile is a bit different between the two. But from what I tested the switch that I got here, it's a bit more scratchy and this one doesn't come pre-lubed. So if you're into lubing your switches, you can go for the Cherries. But again, my recommendation straight out of the box for the best experience, go for the Polaris. But if gaming is not your main attraction, then you gotta look into tactile switches, which are fantastic when it comes to typing. Now, the switch choice here is more neck and neck because there's really not a whole lot of difference between the two. They both have the same operating force. However, once again, the Nufi switches, the Fleeting Gold, are made from polycarbonate and the one by Cherry are made out of PA66. Again, the sound profile between the two will be slightly different. It doesn't necessarily mean that one is better than the other. They're simply different, which is why it's fantastic to get something like this, because you can test and see, hey, I think I'm going to be liking this one or the other one. At the end of the day, you don't really need to worry all that much, simply because this is a fully hot swappable board with 3 and 5 pins. So if you want to change your switches out, in about 15 minutes, you're going to be good to go with the included keycap slash switch puller. One quick note that I would like to make about the combination keycap switch puller. When you buy an enthusiast level board, normally these things are included, which is great so you can work on your board directly. But normally they're of very poor quality. In what sense? Most of the ones that I got included with the keyboards that I bought or received simply scratched the plate, which is something that I hated. This one, however, does not. It has been bent in properly and a bit of polish as well. So this one is not scratchy whatsoever. It's a small little detail, but to somebody like me, this definitely matters. The volume knob feels absolutely fantastic. It's cold to the touch, so I'm assuming it's metal. I would love to see this in more keyboards. It feels very tactile. It sounds very nice. Next, you got the programmable keys G1, G2, all the way through G8 that you have on the bottom. In my opinion, the little RGB wheel that you can use to toggle between all the RGB modes and you can also control the brightness of the RGB is not really necessary per se, but you do have quick controls here and you don't need to use the function key. I do love, however, the possibility of being able to switch between USB 2.4 GHz and Bluetooth on a step just like that. I don't need to fiddle around and look, away. Hey, where's my button? So the whole experience is a bit more streamlined now on the back you saw dip switches and this is honestly the first time i legitimately see dip switches on a keyboard depending on how you choose to arrange the dip switches you can have your windows key or your caps lock be changed into a function key and you can also have caps lock and control invert functionality so there is a bit of customization to be had with the dip switches all this information is more is right here in the included poster slash manual which is definitely a nice touch 
of course the board features and key rollover and the battery capacity on this one is 4200 plenty of battery capacity especially if you're not going to be using it with the rgb honestly i love the rgb on this one but i do have one small complaint as you can see the keys are fantastic double shot pbt high quality but they're not shine through if you want the shine through keys you need to purchase an additional set that comes in at 24 25 dollars considering who this board is aimed at i would prefer for a future revision we have the shine through keycaps instead of the normal ones included in the box as for the wrist wrist, this was and is absolutely beautiful. It's a polycarbonate. It's a matte see-through polycarbonate that can work really well with some RGB underglow. And this part right here is metal screwed into place with some whitely painted screws. This has been fantastic. But of course, if you're more used to the plush experience, if you prefer a wrist wrist, which is made out of pleather or whatever textile, this will not be for you. For me, this is perfect. So I don't have any issues with my palms getting hot or getting sweaty when I'm using such a wrist wrist. So definitely this is a worthwhile pickup. However, once again, you will have to purchase this one separately. It is not included in the base keyboard. Fully compatible with Windows and Mac, but considering this is a gaming keyboard, I'm not really sure you're going to be using it on a Mac and you do get the additional keycaps to make it look math worthy there is also a damper kit installed on the space bar this is a silicone sound observer and being completely honest i have never used a more satisfying space bar it's rock solid extremely good build quality but it doesn't make any rattle noise whatsoever it has a satisfying bump in fact, the whole keyboard feels extremely well put together. There's basically no flex whatsoever. It's a beast. It's a tank. And when you type on this one, it's a feeling of solidity. There is no keycap wobble whatsoever. And the finish on the actual bar is this nice satin pleasant to the touch. Being completely honest, I'm not entirely sure what is the voodoo that they did to make it feel so solid and sound so fantastic. But I had a look over on their website. They are using a high density metal plate. Also, dynamic duo of plate poron and PCB IXPE. Uh, don't worry about it too much. All you need to know is that it feels and sounds fantastic. A more detailed sound test towards the end. Next, we're going to be moving into the software, but to access the software and make it work on the keyboard, you're going to have to plug it in. This is a bit of an issue. I would have preferred if the software would have worked in wireless as well. Now, when you first install the software, after you install it, make sure to restart your computer and make sure you don't have the keyboard plugged in via wire and the dongle plugged into your computer because that causes the software not to see the keyboard being connected. Just have it connected directly via the cable. The included cable is 1.5 meters and of good braided quality, plus it has a filter on as well. It's better than what most manufacturers include. The software has tons upon tons of actual RGB settings. So if you want a specific effect, I'm pretty sure one of them has to be here. You can also set whatever color you want from the RGB spectrum, including something like a rainbow dash, if you want all of the colors at the same time. Obviously, this is going to be subjective. It really depends on your taste and what kind of things you like. Or if you want to match it to your computer, you also have that possibility as well. You can input the RGB values one by one, so you can definitely match that specific color that you want. You get to control the brightness and the speed as well. The RGB is done pretty well, but in the custom mode, that you get to access here unfortunately you can only get the color keys one by one we do not have the possibility of layers so for a future update i would love to see the ability to create layers upon layers of rgb effects that's how you get more customization you got this button right here called complete extension this one is essentially going to be clearing all the selections that you made for your keyboard moving on from the rgb you got the button settings here is where you can essentially remap the buttons to do whatever you want i took a gander at the special macro keys or the special gaming keys you can rebind them to a whole lot of functions you can use mouse keys standard keyboard keys multimedia keys system functions even office keys which can be very very useful but unfortunately the one thing that i can't do and i wanted to do was the ability to map them to a certain program start for example i want to start my photoshop i want to start my adobe premiere or maybe something like streamlabs at a push of a button i want to be able to macro that to it and you currently cannot hopefully this is something we're going to see in a future update because it's a commonplace feature macro management you want to create yourself some fantastic macros this is definitely the time let's see new macro Brand new macro named macro one recording and you can also have fixed time delays you can combine them with mouse presses as you can see here essentially you got everything that you need you can name them however you want you can assign them rename boom now let's see if i can actually put this one on f can i put you on f default function mouse key oh yeah 
So you don't necessarily need to put the macros just on the gaming keys. You can put them on any key you want on the keyboard. And here is where you get to select your polling rate. Also, when I first plugged in the keyboard, I got a little pop-up saying, hey, do you want to update the firmware on your keyboard, which worked flawlessly well. And that's pretty much it to the software. Overall, it is functional. I do like the software. However, I think it can stand a few improvements from an RGB perspective. I want to see layers. And from a macro management and button settings assignment, I want and need that ability to launch custom applications. I'm a streamer. I get home. I turn on the PC. I want to go boom, 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 launch my stream labs, background music, launch the game, get ready to go live. That would be a tremendous help. Now, if you head on over to the official Nufi site, I'm going to leave you a link in the description down below you get to see what other variants for the keyboard you get this is the one that i got it's called gravity and i think it looks absolutely freaking amazing but you also got the noiter noiter ethereal which has this whole desert theme to it and this one which i believe a whole lot of you guys will like it's called the electro and this one has this whole genji aesthetic to it the dark grays the blacks and that very interesting lime green you can choose a wrist rest that can be in the color or a different color it's not really necessary especially if you're not used to a wrist rest if you never used one before i have consistently been using wrist rest because if i don't i get pains in my joints but that's just a me thing you can also order some additional keycaps as well for example something a bit more thematic again I would take a look at the keycaps with the shine through for this one you're looking at 24 bucks as this will offer a better rgb experience you know what notify me yes now we're getting to a point that i don't particularly like however it needs to be pointed out the warranty on these is one year which is below industry standard the standard warranty for electronics at least in europe and america is at least two years i would like this to be changed to two years if possible you can have a look over here nufi offers a one year limited warranty essentially on all of the products that i saw from their website a one year warranty is offered and if you're curious about more features have a look over here they go even into more detail and more importantly you get to hear a sound test for every type of switch which the keyboard is available with oh you can even get matching this mats as well i didn't notice these oh these will align up to the colors of the actual keyboard how much is one of these this would be fantastic with mine how much does it cost i didn't see it in the option list oh it's down here and you can add extra switches as well. You should take a look at the switches section on this one. 24 bucks for a big desk mat? That's not bad, actually. And that is pretty much it. As for a conclusion, I think I gave it away at the start. This is the best 75% mechanical gaming keyboard I have ever used. The build quality is fantastic. It's rock solid. The performance is there. Lightning quick for games. And I know I may sound like an infomercial, but I have been using mechanical keyboards for... Well, essentially ever since they came out i bought top of the line razors corsairs even have a couple of logitechs and still i didn't get this level of build quality and this experience i can only fully recommend this product and if you want to try one for yourself i'm going to be dropping an affiliate link in the description down below as always my name is Malazar, and i'll catch you guys in the next one so don't forget subscribe bye